<laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, this is another one of those where we're going to throw a whole bunch of stuff all together, show you what day it is at the bottom of every one to try and get enough stuff to fill up the entire episode. And what ends up happening typically is she just keeps repeating herself day after day after day because she can't remember what's going on. So um, if it feels like deja vu, it's, 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 it's her, not you. She just keeps repeating it's Groundhog Day this week over and over again with the same stuff. Well, hello, everybody. This one is going to feel a bit like Groundhog Day. The same information over and over and over, day after day. Because if she records, doesn't post, and then the next day records again, you know, the date at the bottom every day. And it's the same thing day after day after day because she can't remember anything. CRS. Can't remember shit. So it feels like deja vu. It's her, not you. Just entertainment value, not so much informational value. At least there's a little something different each time because she does make progress. Uh, yeah, so Groundhog Day over and over, um, lost my train of thought, um, boy, I'm kind of contributing to it, just keep repeating the same thing over and over, a little frazzled right now, we got a lot going on again, financially, so, um, probably going to be seeing an, another video coming out a little bit later on today. For the GoFundMe again. Um, <clears throat> uh, hitting a desperate situation over here. Just found out um, how, where we're at. Brian just carried this upstairs. I have some giant box. I have no break time left. I had to use it all to talk to an attorney. I want to open this, but I can't. I'm distraught. I have no vacation time. I can't open it. Oh my God. I want to know what this is. All right. So Brian started painting the house today. We have until the end of the month to get it done to avoid fines from the Homeowners Association. All he's got done is, it looks like right above those two arches. I don't know if you can tell. I guess from here, right where it turns the corner, you can see the difference in colors we're doing. Right now the house is like a cream. And we chose like a taupe to change it to, give it a little more contrast. So... That's, that's what he got done today, and thank goodness he's got the equipment now, the sprayers and all that stuff for the pressure washing that he's able to paint the house with a sprayer. Because the last one took us like three summers to do with brushes. It was hard, but it was also a Victorian with all the, the trim, and, and we did seven colors, and this one we're just doing three colors. But yeah, it's day one progress. All right. Go tell me you did a good job. Get it. Wait for the shower. 
<clears throat> talking to Quinn about his fishing expeditions. Right. Look what I got today. <laughs> as long as he's preoccupied on the phone, let's try and get into these and see what they are. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I, I've got a mess going on again, but you're going to excuse the mess because it take me longer to clean up the mess to make this, you know, pretty while I open it. And then he'll be off the phone and grabbing onto my, what the hell was that? Grabbing onto my pant legs. Play with me. Okay. I'm going to pause you for a second. All right. Did you notice I didn't say so when I didn't say okay? I said all right. I don't know. I gotta get some scissors. Ignore me. I'm hideous. Yeah, that's true. I don't really want you seeing me because I'm like hideous today. Wow, this is gonna be okay. How am I gonna do this without you seeing me? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Don't look. Don't look. Well, I don't know. I guess you're going to see me hideous. Okay. We're going to start with this one. Fill out a form for Make a Wish Foundation for me. Oh, look, a box. Yeah, a box. Okay. It's from Cindy and Anna. Cindy's Crafts. This is the flat thing, isn't it? I just watched a couple of videos from Cindy's, uh, Cindy's channel that she put up a few days ago, and one of them, she's doing her tutorial to make the, um, the uh, credit card holders that they can't scan your card because she, she got hers scanned, so I spent a bunch of money charging it. Anyway. She lives next door to her parents, and people kept coming in over and over. It was, I thought it was really funny, and she kept it cool the whole time. Let's see. Oh, look at this cute little bin. Oh, is this ever cute? Let's see here. And, of course, I can't even figure out how to open it. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, so it's got... Oh, this is cute. Oops, a couple of them here. Put those back on. It's got little number, <laughs> numbered stickers. Okay. There it is. And it's got the little, little trays. Big old honking thing. Okay. Pink wax. Oh, here we go. Look at these. All right. This is cool. All right. Very cool. Oh, this one's angled. I don't know if you can see this. Let me get in here. All right. So this one has like an angled head. They're angled. All of them are angled. They're all angled. 
I was just watching my original videos, like my first three last night, because I've got a um, couple of people who are working the way from the beginning, and when they comment, you know, it kind of takes me down memory lane, and I started watching a couple of my old videos, and I think it was like my very first video, I was saying, they should make the, the pens angled. Well, here you go. So I've got a whole bunch of these, I'm guessing they're nines and a six, two sixes, four nine placers. They've got these different kind of grippies. They're not squishy grippies. They're hard plastic grippies. And then a double chisel for straightening out your diamonds. Because Cindy's the first one I saw who had this and I commented that that was awesome. And I was using a putty knife. So yeah, I've got another one of these. That's awesome. I have been having such a hassle with taking my painting from my office to the living room and back every day and night to work on it. So I decided I was going to kit up a new one and keep one downstairs and one up here. And now I, I'll be able to have tools for both locations too and not have to carry all that up and down the stairs. Thank you, Cindy. That's wonderful. I'm going to drop something I don't want to do. Again, I'm hitting it. Ignore. Okay, and it's got this little thing. Oh, look at Okay, I'm going to bring this over there. Okay, so I've got those drill pens, and it's got a little, a little bin. Caddy. Bunch of plastic bags. Ah, these come in handy. Clips for holding your painting down. Works great for holding your painting to your light pad. Or I wrap my painting across the top around a pool noodle and then I clip it in. I'll show you. I'll show you sometime soon. So those are awesome. Oh, look. Spoons for digging your diamonds. Awesome. More clips. Lots of clips. This is awesome. This is a great little accessory kit. Oh, now here's the three placers. Great. Very cool. No. Oh! Okay. You know, it's something I don't have. <laughs> I got the little light up pen. Oh, I'm excited about that. I don't know how to turn it on. There it is. There's the turn off switch. Now I can diamond paint in bed. Yay. I'm going to have to have a third painting. Sorry for all the crinkling. Look, it's got two of those. Thank you. I have wanted to try one of these since I saw them, like, what, six months ago? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let's see what else it's got. These are plastic, so not quite as likely to injure you. Oh, look, I can... Let me see if I can grab that stuff off of that box. Okay. So there's three sets of those tweezers. Very cool. What's this now? Metal tweezers. Oh, look at this. Two of these little bins. Very tiny. Um, great for travel size, I guess. And they are actually numbered, it looks like. Look at that. One through twelve. A couple of those. This is great for leftover drills. Very cool. Very cool. And... Dun, 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 dun. I love the big boats. Can you believe? Some of you can. Because there's other people who are cheap asses like me. I went, like, what? I started in May till December. Seven months with only the little tiny trays. And now I've got... Now I have four big trays. Thank you very much. I'm so excited. 
and it all fits in this little bin. So I'm going to probably load one of these up as a toolkit to keep in the living room. And then my giant tackle box will probably stay up here in the office. But yeah, this is awesome. I love it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Cindy. Really appreciate it. I think this is wonderful. I love, love, love getting things that I haven't had before. Like these clips. They look like they're going to be better than some of the ones I have right now. So that's great. Fantastic. Love it. And I'm really excited about this. Two of them. Yeah. And of course, the whole reason that she sent it to begin with was for the um, the little chisel thing for straightening out your diamonds. So that's great. Love it. I can just push that stuff right off the box. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know why that that's fascinating to me. It's like miniature. Okay. All right. Very cool. Thank you so much, Cindy. Really appreciate it. Really, really do. Okay. This is great. I'm going to have to um, start a new one very soon. So this is all going to come in very handy. Now, this one, I was slack jawed when Brian carried it up the stairs and plunked it down in my room today. I was not expecting anything like this. So... Let's see what it is. I haven't got a clue. I have no clue what this is. Oh. 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 Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. Okay. Oh. Jeez. I didn't even know they made such a thing. Look at it. It's a giant cutting mat. It's like the size of my desk. How awesome is that? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. No. It's blue on one side and pink on the other. Self-healing cutting mat. Okay, I don't want you seeing me. Reversible, extra durable, eighth of an inch in H eighth inch thick mat with five layer premium construction. Will not dull blades. Non-slip, non-glare surface. Half inch grid with eighth inch marks. 35, 45, 60, and 90 inch. Angle guides designed for rotary blades and utility blades. Professional quality, long lasting. Avoid direct exposure to sunlight or extreme heat. Clean with warm water and a mild detergent. Rotate usage to avoid excessive wear in one area. Store flat away from all sources of heat. 36 by 48 inches. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. My desk is 36 by 60. So this will give me like one foot of exposed desk, which is awesome because that should be just enough room for my computer from work to be not in the way that I don't have to, you know, if I want to take this on and off that I don't need to move. Oh, awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's see who, who it's from. Just go inside the box. Right. It is from an anonymous subscriber. Oh my goodness.
thank you so much. You have no idea how much I appreciate this. I had no idea they even made such a thing, really. I mean, I didn't even know I wanted it, but somebody out there knew I needed it. Thank you so much. I can't wait. This is going to be awesome for like matting the Alice painting or cutting fabric or anything. Oh my goodness. I had no idea that they made something so big. I have a little one from when I was quilting and I cut right through the darn thing. So it's like sliced. Oh, it's on the other side. I can't even get it out. Um, this is fantastic. I love it. I'm going to put this up in my room. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it right this second because he's probably making dinner. But I'm going to do it and then I'm going to show you what it looks like and it's going to be awesome. And I thank you, um, Cindy and Anonymous. Thank you. You motivated me to face the camera, even though I look like this. Horrible. We might do some blurring over the top, some sort of effect so that you don't actually see what I look like because this is horrendous. Thank you so much, everybody. So appreciate it. Um, it's Friday night. Party like a rock star. But I got to work tomorrow. So, um, anyway, I will uh, talk to you all soon. Love y'all. Bye bye. What's this? What? Oh my goodness. Hi. <sighs> It is Saturday, 5.02 p.m. Just finished work. Been working on The Mermaid, and I am hating this. Okay, drills are popping off like crazy. It's got these rivers through it. I did that whole scratching thing a long time ago. The drills pop. See, look. Eh, there goes two more. They just keep falling off. Um, I'm going to take it down. Take a rolling pin over it. I don't even know what to do. They just keep falling off. It's making me crazy. Whatever. Um, but yeah, this, this blows. So there you go. Um, if you would like to have something like this, paint with diamonds. Thank you. All right, let's try this out. I got this little one. I got a big one. I got the drill pen that Jan made. I got all kinds of rolling pens. I got the little easy bake oven. We're going to just start with this. More control. We'll go from there. Let's see what happens. This is what I just did right here. Section's been rolled many times. One missing right there. Are you? I think I'm gonna, you know, just let them keep popping off, and when I'm done, try to fill them all in, and <laughs> I gotta have to put something on them. Glue it down. I don't know. It's really horrid, though. The, um, 
I can't say enough bad things about this. <laughs> Seriously. I will take you down in just a second and show you up close the quality of these drills and on top of it. Okay. Let's take a look see. All right. This color, I um, was being really fussy and pulling out all the ones with pock marks and dimples, and I ran out. So then I had to go through my trash and use them. And I think I still ran out. Yeah, aren't those lovely? Those are very nice. Mm -hmm. Yep, and um, then, let's see, let me find the color. There's one color that has all kinds of the, um, where is it? I can't see anything. <laughs> I think it might be this brown, but it has all kinds of the little tags hanging off of it. Or maybe it was this black, so they don't fit together nicely. So, you know, your choice is to file it down or something. I don't know, but it's, yeah, lots of colors with pockmarks and scabies and growths and lots and lots of concave to the point where they're like completely transparent and of course you know her pepto-bismol pink face but um yeah i can't i can't find it right now but there is a color that has a little Nubbins, so they don't fit together. Anyway, you, you get the idea. And I loved this picture too. But, you know. Now, I rolled it and those lines seem to have disappeared. They'll be back tomorrow. They'll return. Yeah. Aren't those cream colored diamonds nice? Yeah. Loving it. Loving it. Living the dream. Okay. Now we've got this. Dun dun dun. Let me get set up and open this up. Before I get to these though, I, I, hang on. Before I get to this, I know I recorded this once already, but I can't remember editing it and I don't know what happened to it and I'm having a a lot of issues lately with hitting the record button and then I never really hit it. So Janet giving me these little door hanger foam things and <clears throat> so if I'm working, flow at work, quiet please, nobody pays attention. And then I have, because Brian had suggested that I do live broadcasts, believe it or not live broadcast in progress basically a warning if you walk in you're going to be on and then let's say i'm recording like right now please knock genius at work or i just want to be left the hell alone eh. and then the door's just shut because you know i want it shut welcome come on in so those are my um four statuses that I hang on the outside of my door each day. Okay. Now, I wasn't expecting anything. Everything I was expecting has arrived, so I have no idea. Let's start with this. Excited. A little sweaty, because I'm excited. 
Plus it's a little warm in here. What the heck is this? Floral washi tape. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Look at how gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, these are my favorites yet. These are so pretty. Oh my goodness. Those are beautiful. So, thank you, Anonymous Gifter. This is gorgeous. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Those are so pretty. Look at those. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I love those. Those are so pretty. Yeah, those are not going to get used to cover glue on diamond paint. I'm not going to tell you that right now. Okay. This is heavy. Okay, again, I should cover my address before I start this, right? for my binder. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Thank you. 200 heavyweight sheet protectors. Well, thank you. Gonna get me all stocked up on office supplies. Fantastic. Somebody likes to shop online. Okay, yeah, let's see what this one is. <laughs> I had a feeling I knew what was going to be in here when I saw that. Look at this. This is fantastic. Brian was just complaining yesterday when he was watching me edit one of my videos where I was showing my binder. And he's like, where did you get all those dividers? Those better not have been, you know cannibalized out of my office. Thank you. Wonderful. One, two, three, four, eight tab. Awesome. Oh, there's another one. Two of them. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, you know what? This is perfect. I don't know if any of you guys... I, I worked in a bank for 10 years and we used hard copy procedures. Now I use all online procedures, so there's really no hard copy materials. But constantly updating your procedures. This tab for one-handed, instead of having to do this, is like the Rolls Royce of binders. Thank you so much. And it is, let's see, how big is this one? It looks like it's probably a three inch. Yep, three inch binder. Oh my goodness. This is like, yes, this is like the Mac Daddy binder. Thank you so much. This is fantastic. Now you're going to have me organizing my binder again. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, no, no note in anything. I don't know. 
but um, thank you. I have my suspicions. I really appreciate it. This is great. I am thinking I am going to start dividing out my binder and have one just for um, communications and then one that is about the content of my videos. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, there was one other thing I wanted to say. Oh, I know what it was. Um, so last night, um, this coffee messaged me, asking me a question, and she's like, you know, what you doing? And I said, well, I, uh, a squirrel ran by and I got distracted and now I've been tearing my room apart again. And, um... The squirrel that ran by was this mat that's in a, another video that I'm assuming you've seen by now. <clears throat> this gigantic mat. And so it prompted me, because I had to clear off the desk in order to put the mat down, prompted me to again rearrange my room. Now, it's a mess because I just unboxed all that stuff and I just finished work like, two minutes before I started recording. But I'm going to give you a quick tour. One second. I'm Get you off the stand. And again, you guys will get a cleaned up version of this, but I'm excited and he's yelling at me already to come down and spend time with him. And I gotta go see the outside of the house because he painted today. But I rearranged, I pulled that down. Remember it was two? I pulled that down, did a little L shape, put all my monitors. So these are my work computer monitors. This is my personal monitor. I've got the desk coming out of the wall here with my new protective surface and there's a closet for reference and I never had this hooked up before you know you got all these light switches eh, what do they work what do they work well that's the lamp one for the switch so yeah you look at this let me find it um yeah look at that <laughs> so excited okay and then um I gotta clean this up. This is quartz and stuff in my shred bin. And I've got, I think I wanna turn the desk around so that this is out the other side. But all my craft supplies are in those drawers, which means I gotta flip everything around. But this fits over here if it's not in the closet. And then this wall is completely empty right now. Yeah, I know, the couch, too big. And I really like that. So I'm, I'm good with that. This is too big. I might end up swapping it out with a different chair from another room in the house because it's, it's in front of the window. I don't want it to fade, but it's the north side. It might be okay. It's not bad. But this looks kind of empty. So anyway, um, I'm trying to do this. Be better. No more nausea. But um, that's my materials for work. I gotta actually look at that sometimes, see if there's actually anything you guys can't see on it. I just assume there is. Um, and that is just hooked on here with a tie, and then I can roll it up on my days off. Throw it away. Not throw it away, put it away. Reorganize that. And now my, this is all crafting area. And then I have that little table. This box is way back when. I don't know if you guys remember that from Michael's. And I dropped it off the car. And it's got yarn, my yarn in it right now from Miss Coffee. But it gives me the height I need for my stools here. So I'm facing this way. Get a phone call. My keyboard would be up here my monitors but when it's my weekend I can just stick my keyboard up there get it out of my way I'll figure out something that looks nicer but um, and then the box that this mat came in fit right in that little blind hole there so it elevates it and I can put something else there I don't know just fill the hole so it doesn't fill up with dust or whatever drop things in it um, these are a little rickety because I never put that back cardboard on because I didn't like the looks of it. So I might 
um, put some screws in or something to clamp them because they're a lot of heavy shit in there. And it kind of does that whole teetering thing. But yeah, I got some fine tuning to do, but this is my new setup and it works fantastic. Um, other than I'm blind as a bat and that's kind of far away for me to see. But that will be fixed if um, I flip the desk around, put this end. To, no, that won't work either because the drawers and everything would then be up against that. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Fine tune. But um, yeah, so I rearranged and it's a total mess. But I'll clean it up and give you another view some other time. Because i got to go spend some time with him. Maybe we'll take a quick peek outside and see the how far he got today painting. All right. Let's go look. So I, I had to I had to lecture him a little bit because last night I spent time with him and then um, when he went to sleep at 7.30 I started working on um, rearranging my room. And then he was upset with me because I kept waking him up because I, we share a wall with the bedroom. Okay, fine. Well, I spent, you know, I waited till he went to bed to work on it. So now, you know, I'm trying to shoot the video as soon as I get off work. And now he's yelling up there, come spend time with me. I'm like, when, when, when do I get to do my thing? I don't know, whatever. So let's see how far he got. Oh, yeah. Okay, can you see up inside there? You can kind of see where he did up in there. So he's got the, um, this is done. The pillars and the banister are done and all this trim. So this whole trimmed area is done and he's working on the stucco underneath there. And apparently he's got the ceiling done too. And I can see he's got around this window trimmed out. But that's going to be the new color of our house. And then um, front door will be like blood red instead of whatever poop color that is. I don't know what color that's supposed to be, but it looks like looks like diarrhea to me. And I, I don't like diarrhea door. Diarrhea door gotta go. Alright, um, other issue. You know, here, I'm gonna, let's see if I can cover our address while I turn. Where is it? There it is. And let me get this way. And oh, uh, okay, this tree. So when I wasn't looking, he trimmed our tree. And down here in the south, you know, the trees tend to be, you know, cascading with the Spanish moss and all that. And yeah, look what he did to it. Whacked it all off at the bottom. He did that to the last house too. Drives me crazy. I like it to look romantic. This is not a romantic tree. This is something the city in parks department puts in on the side of the road. This is not good. But, you know, hey, thanks, honey. Thank you for all your hard work. <sighs> but, you know, guys, they're more worried about what's falling on their car rather than, you know, how it looks. So, there we go. The other thing he wants to do is those lights... He wants me to paint them red. No. They're supposed to look like metal. Patinaed metal. You know, copper or iron gone rusty or whatever. You don't paint them red. It can look like a firehouse. But whatever. <sighs> he just does not buy into that whole happy wife, happy life thing. I just don't even know what to do with him anymore. Can you tell him? You know, it's it's crabby time for me. Yeah, it's crabby time. Yep, sure is. Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to go enjoy my family now. Bye, guys. It is Sunday, January 13th. Painting day. I am going to be helping him with painting on the front side of the house and uh, cruising along. We have until the 31st to finish.
I spent the last two nights and today rearranging my craft room again and again and again because I've got issues. And hmm, I don't know what else. I got my painting clothes on. which are from up north, so it's cut off sweatpants, so it's rather warm. But we'll manage. So I need to get going, cracking the whip. The sooner I'm starting, the sooner I'm finishing. And the sooner I can do something I want to be doing. I have nothing to say. Just updating you. Okay. Talk to you soon. Touch that up right there. And there's a spot right here too. Sure. I'm just having a smoke and, and gonna give some painting tips while I'm having my smoke. Yeah. So I'm painting this door. Brian did the trim. We're just doing a quick job because trying to avoid the fines so you can see there's you know little spots that are missed but when you're painting a door um, you want to do I start here and I go I edge just with a brush I don't use tape steady hand not too much coffee and you got to make sure you take care of your drips really well around your hinges the header you want to do this first and then this, so that you feather in and don't end up with weird brush strokes. Okay. Now, to make it easy on yourself, rather than having to paint your white trim around this little tiny lip here, nobody's going to see it from the ground. I'm on the second floor. You just run your brush with your door color right along the side of that, and then when you do the front, Normally you would do this first and the second, but we're not painting this because we're trying to quickly do this. Um, you don't have to paint around that unless you're really fussy. Second floor, I don't bother. First floor, front door, I would. But that's how you do that. Same thing with the bottom then. You're going to paint this first and then feather up. Uh, I loosen, but I didn't remove my bolts so that I can get my brush behind it to get nice edge without getting paint all over my handle. You could take it completely off. I'm being lazy. And um, as far as inside of here, I just put my brush in as far as I can see from here. But yeah, that's, that's basically it. And light coat and uh, go back and catch anything where you can see the original paint shining through, peeking through. And I'll just show you how to properly load your brush too, as long as I'm at it. I love these things. It's got a magnet. It keeps your brush from sitting all the way in. I've shown you this before. You only fill your paint to about a third up your bristles. Kind of get the excess off. And then you load one side only. I did the wrong side. I want to do the other side. I want my paint on this side because your cut-in tip faces. You're going to pull away from your angle. So I'm going to load the side of my brush that I'm going to be painting on. And I'm going to go like this. And then here's how you cut in. I'll just start here. Yeah, just... Kind of get that nice angled right on in there. Now I have a very rough stuccoy house, so it's not 
a 90 degree angle in there. I just keep working at it till I get what seems to be a fairly straight line. And then there'll be enough paint left over in there to kind of go through it and drag it down a second time to kind of fill in that little gap. With just a few bristles from the tip of the brush. And I'm not putting it on real thick because I'm just working on my edge. And then I'll let that dry and I'll come back and put a second coat on for any streaks I can see. But that's how you cut in. Only load the back side of your brush. Third of the way up. There you go. I finished painting. I'm about to take a bath. But before I did that, I figured I'd get the rest of the sweaty grunt work done Sunday. January 13th, 6 p.m. ish. I got it all put together and cleaned up, except for that pile of crap. Anyway, I need to empty my garbage. But here's the new arrangement, okay? I have to not have this under me when I'm diamond painting because you can imagine, you're not finding anything in there. We'll find something to hide the cords. But again, light switch on the lamp. Woohoo. And light, light switch for the room. So that's awesome. If I want to pull my drying rack out with all my paintings, it fits back there. I've got my new table protector. And... It barely fits there, but it's okay. I got all my cubbies <clears throat> rearranged, kind of, you know, cutesied up here and there. So I've got, you know, just trying to make it look tidy, but be able to get at it and tried this time to not stack my boxes so that I don't have to unstack that those are stacked but it was pain when they were all stacked because then I'd have to pull the whole stack out but yeah so I've got all tidied up I don't know if I ever showed you those are my twins aren't they cute and then this is I don't know, probably, mm, probably around the last time I saw him, I'm thinking, probably. Um, but anyway, and then, um, I don't know what the H stands for. I just, it was on clearance and I liked it. And I was going to have a wall with something spelled out, like, I don't even know, but I, I only got the H. But it lights up. So H could be for happy. I don't know. Or home. Or I have no idea. I can't even remember what I was going to put on the wall. But anyway. Um, yeah, so... Now I've got my craft table completely cleaned off of anything work-related. The box with the yarn from Leisha comes out and goes on top. The keyboard and mouse, well, the keyboard goes on top, makes it the perfect height for working. The whole thing gets pulled out and set here. Those are my work monitors, my work computer. Oh, work computer. And this gets pulled up in right here. So now I've got the L shape. So diamond paint, phone call. Diamond paint, phone call. And then when it's my days off, like two days in a row, I'll just shove that back, put the box down, 
and it disappears. And then this is my personal computer and my laptop. And then if I was going to work on those, um, I've got a wireless keyboard and mouse so I can leave the laptop up there and then again open up the screen. I've got dual screens for my computer, dual screens for my work computer, and then just bring my keyboard down to work on it. Okay. I'm covered in paint and I'm really sweaty. Um, but anyway, so yeah, let me pause for a second. I'll pull it out and kind of demonstrate how it's going to look because I know I've filmed this over and over again, but I can't remember what the hell I'm doing because I'm brain dead. So hold on one second. Okay. So see, and then here's... So that, and then the keyboard. Straight shot. I was getting neck aches from looking sideways all the time. So now I can see it straight ahead. And this is like a good height when I'm sitting. I can rest my wrists on this. And then I've got my mouse. And then look back here. My tablet. And then my phone also rests on the top. So I've got my access to watching stuff. Fun. And then, of course, my lamp so that I can see from top. And then my light pad is underneath here for... Um, well, I guess let's turn it on. Hold on. I turn this on here. Now this isn't the best setup right now for for this because of where I'm at on it. I should have the light pad over further, but I'm working my way to the end. So let me just lift this up so I can turn it on. Hold on. All right, I I figured it out. I. It wasn't turning on because the fan that Hackgyver gave me, the power cord looks extremely similar to this, and I had them switched. Now I got it fixed. And so somebody had asked um, how I organize my stuff. Now, I'm going to do a video for the labeling, but actually underneath the book, I think two episodes ago, you can watch me do my labels. If you actually watch instead of just listen to the book two episodes ago. So it would have been, um, let's see, the last one was chapters 20 through 22. So it would have been the one that ended with chapter 19, like 16 through 19 or whatever it was. Or 18 and 19, I don't know. But that one I was doing the labels for the um, Revealing Woman. I think that's the name of it from Diamond Art Club. So you can see how I actually do the system without explaining it. Oh, and my magnifying glass, if I want to look for shit drills. Awesome. So here's here's how I organized my, my myself. Um, we're going to dissect it. I'll pull off layers. But essentially, this is one of those clear cutting boards. I'll show you that. Um, let me grab one. Heck, I ever sent them to me. So, again... Here's that drying rack, and it just folds up and fits right in front of my closet. Um, here's those cutting boards. Let me pull one out. Chopping mats. Dollar Tree, I believe. So, a dollar. And it's just kind of a frosted, clear. <clears throat> so it lets the light shine through from your light pad. But that's um, here. And then I have the um, Vocally uh, Fixate Gel Pads that Vicky sent. And the dashboard pads from Menards from Hackiver. Amazon Menards. And I think Dollar Tree has something similar. But anyway, um, these are linked in my description through Amazon. But these are much stickier than these. I've, I've talked about this before, so if you're new and you didn't see that video. Um, so these are stuck to the, the the cutting board, cutting, chopping mat. 
And then they have protective film to keep them clean. And when I want to use them, I just peel that off and I stick my pens up here. Um, and they're very, very, hang on, let me grab. They're very sticky, like super duper sticky. So I have no problem. Oh, and somebody wanted to see this too, so I might as well show this too. This pen is very heavy. Um, I don't even know how to tell you how heavy it is, but it's heavy. Um, that has no problem holding that up. And this is very, very light. Um, Annette sent me this. This is my favorite pen. So somebody was asking to see my favorite pen. This is it. And uh, this was a gift from Annette. Um, you can choose the color and then what I believe it's three or four bumps and then with or without the tips she sent it to me with the tips so there was single triple six and nine placer and they pull out and interchange and um, I like this pen so much that I used to have one of each a three a six and nine and blah 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 and this and now I like this one so much that I just keep my placers stuck to a mat and I switch out my placer rather than switching out my pen. So I don't use Mickey anymore. Bye Mickey. And then I've got my little chisel for moving stuff around. Um, and of course my deadly tweezers. I also have a photocopy of the because it's only in one spot this is a shitty paint with diamonds and so I have a photocopy and even the photocopy is incredibly hard to read the symbols printed out they're awful it's hard hard as hell to read my printed copy I would have been better just handwriting them so I've got a whole bunch of these they're all covered up I only open them if I'm going to use them but uh, I keep that up there so I've got easy reach. Then I have my Aileen's and I figured I'd try the Loctite but I'm still not using it. I moved it into a bigger case than the little round cases because I finally got it to work in the um, the three and the six and the nine placer. Where is my nine placer? It's not here. I don't know what happened to it. I must have put it away. I don't know. Um, and then my little scoop. And this particular painting is in one of my first attempts at a storage system. I had bought the lockables. And then lots of people were showing videos on what they were using. And I decided to try this. And I'm not, not digging it. <clears throat> um... They're all different sizes, and it was just like, ugh, I, I don't like it. I like the lockables. It holds, was it, 56 colors. I've never had a painting with more than that. This is just a pain in the butt. And um, I have on one side the DMC code and the other side the symbol. And then I realized halfway through this painting that the charting on this one's actually A through Z, one through nine, and then some symbols. So I just ended up putting them in numerical and alphabetical order, and I can find them a hell of a lot easier now. I just did that yesterday. Uh, let's see, what else do I got? So, um, so yeah, I've got, I use the aliens in all of my pens, even the multi-placers. Uh, I've got a little spoon, Okay, now underneath this whole contraption, because, ooh, how is that there? It's not on a sticky pad. These are metal Dollar Tree containers. I've got one labeled trash and one labeled strays. And I've pulled these labels on and off a million times. That's why it's all. This is what I find all over the floor. And then... They're on a magnet, and the magnet underneath this whole thing is, now how am I going to do this? 
Let me pull these off so they don't come accidentally off and fly all over the place. So underneath this, oh, I did it anyway. Yeah, don't try to set it down next to the, da okay. Danger Will Robinson. Don't put the magnet next to that. Okay. Oh, and then um, my painting, because I'm going to pull this all apart. Let's kind of one step at a time here. Anybody who's been watching my channel for a while already knows about my little pool noodle trick down here. But to keep this out of the way, under my desk, I've got a tension rod for, you know, um, like cafe curtains, tension rod, curtain rod with a pool noodle. And then the painting just goes around and between the pool noodle and the desk to keep it from laying on my legs if it was like really long. And then on the other side, I have another one in case I have a friend over or right now it's holding all my power cords up that go that way and then around to the top of my desk. And then I've moved my desk back and forth so many times. I just reverse my power strip this way and that. So I just have a power strip Velcro. And then I have a set of Velcro on that side because every time I rotate my desk, I have to rotate which side my electricity is coming out of. So I just pull my power cord off and I move it to the other side. And then it goes down and out into the wall. All right. So that's how I've got this all organized. Oh my God, my legs hurt. Okay. And that keeps it off my lap. Because when I started at the top, I mean, it was like hanging down by feet. And I don't want that laying in my lap. Now, when I pull this off, can you see it right there? That's one of those metal um, boards for counted cross-stitch for holding a chart up with magnets. So that is, this is the tilt table. One side is my light board, and the other side is that metal board. And then, of course, stick this on the pool noodle. There we go. And it just so happens my canvas is exactly the width of my desk, so don't ever buy one bigger. I don't know. Um, and then I just, I only have one. We, I've rated the whole house. I only have one giant binder clip, but that has the cutting mat, the metal board, the painting, and my tilt table. Bam! That's holding all that in place. Only because the little lip on this tilt table is rather narrow. So I don't want to take a chance of the whole thing coming crashing down. I mean, it does sit on there, but sometimes I've put that metal board over the top of half of the light pad. Like when I'm working on this side, you know, the light pad gets slid that way and then the metal board is on top of the light pad, which gives you even less room for it to not fall off. So I clip the whole thing together. And then of course on this side, I've just got because I only have one of those metal clips. Um, I just got this. Came with the house. Found it. I think it was on that drying rack when we moved in. Um, but yeah, it works perfectly. And then, of course, you know, this is a little wonky. So that's where the magnets come in. And again, <clears throat> Harbor Freight. Uh, Jan got me these. They've got coupons and newspapers where you can, like, get, like, free shit um but i just put these bam and bam and then i've got the little metal containers and yeah this one i spilled because the magnet i tried to set it down next to it like goober and clean that up there we go um which works better Sorry, that was my earbuds falling off of me. Works better for this, especially, than the sticky pads because these are so sticky. And this is, you know, you have to put just a corner of it because it's hard to, I mean, it's super sticky. It's easier to pull it off the magnet and, you know, oh, let's, let's look in here and see, you know. Or I'm going to climb or crawl around on the ground so I can take this off of here much easier than... Now, this one's not terribly sticky because it's dirty, 
but um, yeah, they all need to be washed. The ones under here are going to be uber sticky. But I found that I can just um, pull the top sheet off of these and leave everything on that cutting mat and I rinse it out in the sink and let it air dry. Um, and it works awesome. I love it. Uh, it's fantastic. So whether I've got, you know, magnets, because, you know, obviously I could have, I don't know, those tweezers aren't the right kind of metal, but my other pen might stick to the magnet. These probably don't have enough metal on them either, or if it's copper, copper isn't, doesn't work on magnets either. There you go. Awesome. Love it. And I don't know where my nine placer is, but somewhere. Um, the only thing I did notice with this, and Annette, tell me if you had the same issue. The, um, the pen, when I first got it, the single placer always fit nice and snug. Um, but now it's getting, it's okay still. It's a little bit looser, but the multi-placers were always a little bit loose. And with the regular pink wax, it seemed to be fine, but I use the Aileen's, which is like much tackier. And um, with the multi-placers, because you get so much more surface tension, it'll pull the placer right out of my pen. So easy fix. I just wrapped a little extra band of um, scotch tape around it just to make the circumference a little bit thicker and stuck it in there. But I'm wondering if anybody else has had that issue with theirs. Not a big deal, but I suppose, you know, if the, the man who's making these knew, you can just make them a little bit smaller. But it's probably hard to do that because it seems like this is a little bigger than these for whatever weird reason. You'd have to know if they want double single or double whatever. But yeah, it could be just a little bit more snug. But other than that, it's so lightweight and I love the look of it. That marbling kind of um, effect. So love, love, love this pen. It's like the best thing ever. Um, as far as, because, you know, I haven't tried a lot of pens. I got the ones I've made and then... Um, but let me tell you where that's from real quick. Because um, I just reorganized this. We all saw that. It's heavy. Oh, my God. Okay, let me set it down here. See, this is why I have this book. Because then if I forget to put the link in, I can at least... Oops, open up my book. See, other products... Right here. Um, here it is. Ways and Lathe Works. Handcrafted Design. Daniel Olinar. Um, I believe it's an Etsy store. There you go. Lays and Lathe Works. Dot Etsy. Dot com. Um, love the pen. I would completely recommend it absolutely so that's my favorite pen for I can't remember who asked so I'm sorry I don't remember who asked about which pen but that's the pen I love and somebody asked it might have been the same person I don't know could have been somebody asked how I organize my table so yep yeah, light pad metal tilt table metal sheet chopping mat, these sticky pads, magnets from Harbor Freight, containers from Dollar Tree. These are from Menards and my tools. And then Aileen's. And um, what else? I think that's pretty much it as far as how that all goes. And then I will try to get to it's, it might be a little while till I can kit up a new one. So if you really want to see how I do my labels, um, 
like I said, under the two episodes ago, whatever episode it was that ended with chapter 19 of the reading of um, A Ghost of a Chance, I show it but not explain it because I'm reading the book. But basically what I'm doing is I take a copy of the um, legend, whether I have to photocopy the actual canvas, if, for example, if they don't give you an inventory sheet, or if they do, I make photocopies. And for this particular one, I did one side on one, yeah, whatever. This isn't how I typically do it. But, um, oh, I know which I could show you. I'll pull out the one that I did during that video and show you. There we go. Instead of actually demonstrating, I'll just explain because you all can understand fairly easily, right? Okay, I'm going to sit down here. Okay. This is the um, Diamond Art Club one that I'm anxious to start too, but um, I'm going to try and do this without dumping everything on the floor. Right. Oh, my lap. Big glare. Okay, I have to move this. Yeah, okay. Whew, okay. Alright, so I... This was Diamond Art Club, so they don't give you a um, inventory sheet. So these are photocopies off of the actual canvas. And then I I cut one. This is if I'm using craft paints. I cut one and I put it down the spine because the painting only took up half of my book. So I could fit a second painting in the other half to kit up the second one, which I very much am likely to be doing. Um, but put one there and then I have just the key itself here is an extra copy that can be pulled off double-sided tape and just like that one I stuck it up on my board so that I've got a copy within sight um, and then the actual see, I have my little picture and then the actual containers I do um, double-sided tape and I've got the DMC number, and then I make a label with my label maker with the DMC number for when it goes into um, leftover drills. I use the Tic Tac boxes, so I've already got these all made. And then I would take, um, let me open this up real quick here, one-handed. See, and it's double-sided. So whether my box is open or closed, I can see what's in it because I've got it on both sides. And then double-sided tape, and I'll take off um, the uh, sticker, probably this one. No, I would take this one off. Yeah, this one. And I put it on my boat if I'm going to keep a whole bunch of boats going at once. Now, I made a mistake in that I should have made two copies of this and probably do 165 in the number instead of one in the number. It doesn't really matter because they're numbered in order of 1 through 22 for 22 colors. And I'll put them on my table lined up and I can count to see which one it was. But it would just make more sense if I had my symbol that would correspond. So, it's, okay, let me start over. I'm not making any damn sense. Make a second label. Instead of it being the 165 here, have like this with maybe the 01, the 1, the 165 one tag there, and then a second tag with just the symbol. Boom. That one comes off and goes on your boat. I wasn't thinking straight that day, so I made it with the DMC color, and I wasn't wasn't thinking, because um, I don't need this for anything. So instead of this being this, it should have been the symbol on this piece. So I screwed up. Um, but yeah, that's how I do it. And then that way, if I forget what I'm working on, it's stuck in my boat. 
because it's double-sided tape. I just stick it on the edge of my boat, what color it is. And then I have my, um, I have one of those puzzle caddies and it's got all these trays with these foam sheets. So I have one of these that I keep all of my boats on like a numerical order that have diamonds in them. And, um, you know, they'll all have the little sticker as I'm working. And the foam I like because it's easy to see the diamonds laying on it and it's easy to pick them up because it's foam and it gives. So that's my system of, I don't know, it works for me. And then as far as the floor goes, like I said, there's been so many of them I've shaken out of this rug because I, I don't want to vacuum them up. So I have to flip my rug over, pull it out from under my desk, flip it over, kick it, kind of like beating it like the old rug beaters, get the diamonds to spill all over the floor. And then I get down my hands and knees with tweezers and my reading glasses and pick the diamonds out of the dirt because <laughs> I don't want to vacuum them up. And then when I'm all done, then I'm vacuuming the rug. It's awesome. I love it. But, uh, yeah, so that's my whole setup. Um, double-sided tape. Again, don't buy the Jot stuff from Dollar Tree because it's crap. I use the Scotch brand double-sided tape. And, um, oh, the other thing that I did, too, is these, like I said, they're photocopies. And they're double-sided, obviously. So I made two, um copies stuck them together and then I wrapped the whole thing in scotch tape before I put the double-sided tape on otherwise with you constantly picking the paper over and over again to peel it off oops there we go to peel it on and off and on and off and on and off you're gonna like shred your paper so I wrap it up in scotch tape and just take it off of there and and again, I would I would leave that one on and instead make a small one with the symbol and just take that off. But you get the you get the gist. And I stick it in my boat that I'm using. And then I'll line them all up. Okay, I just basically explained that like 12 times over because I'm tired. I'm not making sense. I think my blood sugar is low. I haven't eaten anything today. And you know, we started this. Yeah, like 40 minutes ago. So I... Okay. Um, I've got my logbook. And... Okay. Okay, I'm in one of those moods. Just jabber on. Um, I want to put them all in. But I don't want to... Somebody else had mentioned this in the comments. That they've done so many. They would want to put them all in. And so here's what I did. The, I put a post-it note of what order I finished them in or started. What order I started my paintings in so that when I got to current day, I knew what page I should be on. But So the horse, I actually knew when I started and finished that, but I still haven't filled it out. But, um, yeah, so that's my solution to being able to get everything in was the order I started them in, just off of memory, because I haven't done that many. I mean, we can see one, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. And then I've done eleven starts. Not many compared to a lot of you guys. Okay, my back is killing me. I was up and down a ladder all day. I'm tired. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. And I'm going to go um, take a nice, long, hot bubble bath and hopefully edit this into something that I can put out there for you guys to see. And we'll get to it. In case you're, again, if you're new and you don't know about my map, so I'm kind of just update you know i realized i didn't re i got a lot of subscribers since you know the last time i did a map so a lot of you guys might not know about this um i'm way behind i've only got about a quarter of the people who've responded pinned but 
way back when I started a video of anybody who wanted to be pinned on my world map to let me know your name, your city and state and country, and a little something I can read about you on a video, and I pin you. And each color pin is a different video, except for these fancy schmancy ones. Those have a different significance. But the colors represent which video number it was. So I've got blue, black, red, and yellow. So I've done four map videos. And then um, uh, Jeannie, um, first gold pin. She was the very first person pinned. And then this is where, um, oh, my brain, oh my God, my brain is not working. She moved. <laughs> she moved from here to over here. Uh, okay. But anyway. Um, but, uh, Arsha, is that how you pronounce her name? Who won the, the DPAL for the fantasy category? She is in, I believe it was Dubai. And I messaged her and said, hey, I want you on my map. So um, I don't know if you are a subscriber or whatever, but I want to pin. I have nobody in Asia. So please give us something to say about you so we can, we can pin you. And then I can figure out where Dubai is. Where is it? I don't know. I'm going to have to Google it. I'm not seeing it. It's probably right in front of me and I'm not seeing it. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not seeing it. It's got to be there somewhere. Maybe not. I don't know. I, it's, it's big. Hmm. I, I'm not in the wrong country, am I? I mean, that would be stupid. That would be stupid. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. It's driving me crazy now that I can't find it. Oh, okay. You guys are all screaming at me. All right. All right. I'm going to go take a, take a bath. A nice cold bath. I'm so hot. Okay. And then I... I want to finish this sucker and get it done. I still need to frame Alice. Alice has been waiting. I need to frame the horse. The horse is waiting. So these are what I need to frame. I have a frame for Alice. I don't think I have a frame for the horse. So we'll have to figure something out for that. Get creative. And we all want to see the new mat cutter. Um... Oh, and I've got an idea, too, of what I'm going to do for my my um, leftovers. Uh, right now, you know, because I haven't finished very many, they're in here. So, it's, again, somebody was asking. So, let me show you. So, there's my leftovers. Tic Tac box. I don't have very many filled. And I'm gonna need more. I bought the enough Tic Tac boxes back last summer to have 447 for round and 447 for square because that's how many DMC colors there are. Now there's a hitch and get it because Diamond Art Club I'm not gonna mix in with everything else and maybe even Ever Moment. I don't know because they were pretty nice but Diamond Art Club for sure are not gonna be polluted. So I do have um, where is it? Nope, not there. Nope, not there. It's in one of these. Probably down here. There it is. I've got enough Tic Tac boxes for the whole shebang. Except for the Diamond Art Club. Anyway, so I'm thinking my drawer organizers I made the other day, I want to make a wall unit to store all of my Tic Tac boxes. You know, numerical order. And I can make my shelves exactly the width I need, plus a finger to be able to pull it out. 
for all my leftover drills. It's going to be glorious, but that's my next project. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. I definitely need to clean myself up. I'm disgusting. Disgusting. All right. Um, so yeah, I, I know I haven't put out much lately, but that's what I've been up to. I'm nesting. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, Miss Coffee told me why. I never put two and two together, but apparently it's a cyclical thing to feel the need to clean. But that's the new shut up. Be interested to know what you guys think, if you like it. Um, let me know. And if there's anything else that you want me to show you of what I've done. I do still need to move all of my supplies from this side of the desk to that side of the desk because I used to always sit on this side. Ugh. All right. Bye, guys. I'm, I, I really am babbling. Bye. Um, yeah, so uh, he, he just came out and let me know that it's uh, crisis mode again here. And, um, so I need to get moving on that because we're going to, got to get something put together, try and, try and figure it out. We need help. We need help. 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 Sorry. Keep asking for help. Okay, I gotta get busy. Gotta get busy trying to find some way to make some money.